Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Petey Prowlock and Newcastle, even though they're relegated, beat Spurs 5-1. Play my word. How the hell did that come from? We are relegated, but we absolutely polished Spurs to bit. How the hell did that happen? Hopefully that win was to hopefully we can keep Rafael Benitez as manager at Newcastle. Because if he does, I think he can take one back up to the Premier League. While we are in the championship next season. Because he is the right man. He's definitely one of the top managers. Who has won trophies abroad. Even in the league. He's won the Champions League. I would hopefully we can beg him. Badly. To stay in this football club. <sighs> but. I, I just don't know where 5-1 came from. After that. Because I could say we've been shite all season. That's why we deserve to be relegated. But how the hell did we did we do that? I don't know. Hey, my word. This the first goal. Sissoko gives the ball into Mitrovic, who should have sues. God, I, I see him start today. Glad he dropped Cissé. Because Cissé has just been annoying me so lately. Mitrovic then gives the ball in to Wijnaldum. Where on earth has he been throughout the season in? He puts it in the back of the net for 1-0. I was thinking, oh my word, where the... Hey, hey man, my word. The second goal, what a cross this was from Musa Sissoko. Brilliant ball in and Mitrovic gets his head on it. Powerful header for 2-0. Wow. That was... Brilliant header. That's probably one of Mitrovic's best goals I've seen throughout this season. Hopefully, if we can keep a hold of him, he probably will dominate the championship, in my opinion. Nine goals for the club, even though he's a young lad. And he should have been starting a lot, which he hadn't been. He could have had more if he started a lot, I think. But hopefully, if he can start, if he, we can keep him, and he can start all the games in the championship, I think he'll dominate it. I think he'll absolutely dominate the championship. Let's just hope we can keep hold of But I'm going to have to get on something in a bit after I've talked about this. Spurs get a goal back through Lamella. Was this like a cross shot or did he mean this? The ball comes in and Darlo hits his hand, but it ends up in the back of the I was like, oh, what a funny goal that was <laughs> to go in. But because Spurs have been absolutely, Spurs have been dominated, absolutely dominated. But yeah, we'll go all right. Mirovic, even though he scored, he's been sent off. But I've got to say, this was an absolutely horrible tackle. This was a leg break a tackle, Mirovic. What are you doing, lad? You can't go into tackles like that, Sunshine. No chance. Oh, that was just. He was even down on the floor. So I pretend he got hurt, but the ref wasn't having and wasn't. He was wasn't fooling him. Wasn't being fooled at all. I meant sorry. And he pulls up the red card. Mitrovic is going mad about it. But you should see that replay again, Mitrovic. That was a leg breaker tackle. Um, how, it has, how did Kyle Walker not break his leg? I don't know. But if we keep Mitrovic, he's going to be banned for three games. If we keep a hold of him in, for the champion, in the way we're in the championship, that's a free game ban. Well, I think it, it, it will have to be. That tackle was horrible. Leg break all day. Sorry, red or card all day. No excuses for that, Mirovic. And saying you should know better. You have been warned. You have been warned about it beginning of the season, but that was just out of order. I'm sorry. But we get a penalty, which was a dive all day long. Sissoko goes down. He <laughs> the lad never touched Sissoko at all. I think it was Dia. They thought Dia made contact with Sissoko. He didn't. Sissoko goes down. We win a penalty, which is a dive all day. But as they said, we've had decisions go against her that have been should have been penalties all day long. But we've got this one. Wijnaldum steps up and he puts it past Larice, which was good. We see Newcastle three one up with ten men. Hey my word. 
Townsend, who we've uh, he's been one of a great signing for us. Hopefully, I like to keep a hold. Hopefully, we can keep a hold of him as well. I'd love to, but we'll have to see what happens. Had a chance, hit the bar, but then the ball comes back in, and I can't believe it. Young Rolando Aaron's gets his left foot on it. Oh, Shear, I would love to have seen that kid play a lot more. Just he's been hit with loads of injuries. I feel sorry for him a lot for a young lad his age who's been hit by some bad poor injuries to him but gonna see goal for him on the last game of the season even though we're down to try and end the season on a little bit of a high even though we're relegated as I've said but hey my word but a good strike from Rolando Aaron's hopefully if we can, apparently he could I think he is out of contract but hopefully I like if we can give him a new contract and hopefully he can become well in the championship too I'd like to see a lot more of him and he sets up the fifth goal for Newcastle. For a Rolando Aarons, who gives the ball into Jan Matt. He puts it in the bottom corner, and he's been shy lately, Jan Matt. But he's ended up getting, well, he was pretty much the best player for the beginning of the season, I thought, where we, where the hell we can, where we were not getting goals at all. We'll part of that beginning of the season. But he got that one. Even though he's been awful lately. Mm -hmm. But good to see. Good to see him get a goal there. But and there it is. It's full time Newcastle have won 5 1, even as I said, even though we're down. But you've got to ask, where's it gone wrong this season? Well, you've got people who cannot run a football club properly in the likes of Ashley, Charlie, and of course Graham Carr, who's been Who's, who's the one of been buying players? I'm sorry. That needs to finish. Let the manager now have all C on transfer windows. And actually, if you're going to put money into the club, make sure they can do something decent with it. Not spend it on any fucking rubbish at all. Because you've been, are you, how much you've been giving them to Graham Carr just to spend on a lot of bunch of flop, flops lately. And the majority has been a lot of flops that we've bought into this football club. In the likes of Tova, Cabela. Who else? Gufran. That's who I'm going to name. That's why. Because we spent... And Henri Savi, that's another one. That's like over... How much spent between those two? Well over 20... Well over 20 million pounds at least. But... but how did they not perform for us like at all I do not know we've been badly defensing <sighs> keeping players who are pretty much keeping defenders who are pretty much finished Colacini, Steven Taylor who've been where since even before we went down eh, why were the M2 still there the M2 still there the whole thing. but we after that four weeks but why wasn't this done earlier? We could have given more of a chance into Jamal Lascelles, who has been shining lately. Shimmy wasn't there the day, I wonder if he picked up an injury. Oh, but yeah, why do we give this chance a lot, a kid a lot more chance earlier this season? But, and Bemba's been decent at all, but why did we keep the likes of Colachini, Stevie Taylor and all that? I don't know. And we've been, there have been one with bad defensive strategies and that's what has done the season so that's another reason why we're going to get relegated well where we're thinking where the goals were going to come from like Mitrovic starting one time same with CC starting another because they've all been struggling but Mitrovic we had to rely on him to be one of our main players in Mitrovic to try and get the goal for a, for a young lad at 21 years old that was crazy. We should, I can't believe we didn't get in a proven goal scorer at least, which we should have done. So yeah, that's one of the reason why we're down. And also, you keep playing players who've been not been on form, and you're probably thinking, oh, they might just get better. They might just get better. No, they didn't. They got even worse. There's a few I can name, but I could go through, but there's a. That's why, and that's why another thing, not dropping players who are out of form. 
another thing. Not sacking Steve McLaren off sooner. Because if he, he shouldn't have been in charge of a club at all. If he couldn't get England promoted. I mean, he couldn't get England in a Euro 2008. And he fucked up to get Derby promoted to the Premier League. Why the hell did we... Why did we give him a chance? We knew it was going to be a bad idea. I knew it was going to be a bad idea in the first place. So why did anyone... Why did we give him a chance? I don't know. But we should have sacked him way earlier before March. Should have been gone straight away. We should have got Benitez earlier. Or oh, would it be better if we got Benitez throughout the whole of this season? Then we would not be in the... Rally. We could have been probably in the top ten somewhere. Not in the bottom three. See, yeah, that's another reason to tick off why we are down. But I've got to say, it's life for Newcastle in the championship next season. Hopefully we can come back, keep Rafa Benitez and keep some of the good players in there. But the thing that's annoying me, especially two players I'm going to get on to, that why they've been disappeared or not been performing, Musa Sissoko and Jeannie Wijnaldum. Where on earth he's been with Sosoko has been majority shocking lately throughout this whole of the season. <sighs> Genie Wijnaldum disappeared throughout the rest of the season. And you have just played great today. But if that's just because you've tried to get a move away from this club. I can all I can see is fuck you. Because why are you just playing one? You're getting paid so much money to put a performance in. And if that's because of that. Yes, it had. I hope you become a flop in the next club you can't eh? <sighs> It's annoying. That's why we are down as well. But it's life in Newcastle in the Championship, as I've said. Let's see how we do down there. Hopefully, come back into the Premier League where this club should be, should belong, where we should be, where we should belong to. That's all for that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos. Like, comment, feedback. Give me some feedback on what else I can do. I'll try and do some new... I'll try and do Newcastle videos while we're in the championship. But there's something coming before that. Will be the Champions League final. I will, will do a review of that. I'll do a rev I might do a review of the Europa League final. But also... Euro 2016 is coming. So yeah, I'll be reviewing some of the England games on here as well. So keep an eye out if you feel free to check them out when they come on. And I will see you all later. Take care. Good luck to Newcastle in the Championship.